This is the Rock and Jay Farrier. I thought I'd do a quick little video. I'm gonna retire my old shoe and apron. It's uh, it's been patched and repatched. I've got patches under patches, and the uh, bottom of it's getting pretty thin. My hoof knife was falling, falling through here, and my clinching block was falling out of there. So. What I do, what I have found is I take these, these are what I trim off of a neoprene hoof pad when I, when I put it under a shoe. So I take these, these hoof pads and put a little bit of heat on them and mold them, mold them into what I need. So I'm going to retire that. I had a friend make me a new apron. So I got it all tooled up. So I've taken the the hoof pads and made holders because when your your tools are like a pair of scissors in between and so when you hang your tools like that it'll cut them so unlike most people they all have a, a shoe and box or a cart that they carry their tools i am my shoe and box so i've got everything here is is put in here in a way that makes sense i've got a sharp rasp here and a dull rasp here and the reason is is my dad my dad when he shot horses for 60 years he wore tall cowboy boots and he would tuck the rasp in right along his leg by his by his ankle right there and he kept his sharp rasp in that boot and the dull rasp in that boot and uh those tall boots are three or four hundred dollar rasp holders so i i decided to build these so when I'm working on a horse, you can, I got my shoe pullers to pull shoes and cut nails with. And once you get the shoe pulled, I can reach and grab my nippers. Once I'm done with that, I, I can put that up. My hook knife is right there to grab. And when I can put that back, I can grab my sharp rasp to finish the foot off. Then when I'm finishing the shoe, I've got my clinchers right handy. And of course my hammer, I'm left-handed, so my hammer's on this side. My dad put his there, but he reached across and grabbed his hand and hammered him. Hand him. Anyway, and then I always have my nails handy because I put them, I put my nails on a magnet. And then when I ring the nails off, when I ring the nails off, I ring them off and catch them in my hand and throw them on the magnet so I don't leave any nails. And then another little trick I found is I've got a, a magnet put in the end of this hammer handle so if you happen to drop a nail or you got a nail that you didn't happen to catch I can just grab those and then all I do is put that swipe it on my big magnet and it picks it up pick that nail up and swipe it and there it is and I picked them up without bending over and fumbling in the dirt anyway so I got my new apron all tooled up and that, that apron, I probably shod, oh, 12,000 head of horses with those. So this might be a long, long time that I'll have these have this apron here. So, because I don't know if I want to shoe a lot more for till I'm 80, probably 75 like my dad did. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, till next time, you uh, take care and we'll see.